G'day guys, you're watching 1700. I'm Mike. We're here at Soundwave with Matt, Max and Chris from UMI at 6. Guys, thanks for taking the time to have a chat with us. Thanks for having us. Um, look, you guys are still holding the Kerrang's Best British Band Award. Are you looking for a back-to-back -back win this year? Well, if it can happen, it would be nice. What's but the competition like? We don't know yet, so who knows? Any British band, to be honest with you, there's a lot of good British bands out there at the moment. So it could be a tough one this year, but I think we're just looking forward to actually being able to go to the Kerrang Awards again and just being able to hang out. Okay, um, have you got anybody in particular in mind that you reckon there's going to be some serious competition? I know you guys were saying something about Enter Shikari being one of your main competitors. I think Shikari would be definitely a main competitor. Horizon, Horizon definitely. Bring the Horizon would be a main competitor. Bullet again. Bullet could be up there again. I think Shikari definitely number one though, just because they're such a great band. Like that's the that's the problem. Like, well, not the problem. The problem for us. The great thing for them. <laughs> yeah. Well, the thing is, they're playing at Soundwave as well, so you've got the chance to sort of take them out, maybe yeah. go into where they're Seriously. meeting. <laughs> we, well, we went to we could not take them. I, yeah, I don't know if you've seen those guys, but we would definitely lose in a fight. <laughs> yeah. yeah, plus their <laughs> live show. Just, yeah, yeah, these yeah. little arms. We went and saw their show the other day in Sydney at the Metro, and it was just like, we all just sat there and were like, this is amazing. Yeah. And then we all tapped each other, like, should we go? The minute we walked out, I was like, we just couldn't move. It was like face melting. You couldn't <laughs> move. <laughs> a lot of bass, a lot of strobes. A good time. That's a pretty damn good promotion for Shikari. Mm. Wow. Well, <laughs> they're good friends of ours. So. Hopefully they return the favour. Yeah, yeah, I hope so. Um, look, you guys have got the third studio album, Sinners Never Sleep, out. Um, you did a lot of recording, or some recording, in the US. Um, yeah. Was that sort of a, I don't know, it's a bit of a dream for a whole bunch of 20 something year old guys to go to their label and just be like, oh yeah, can we go record in America? And they're like, yeah, yeah. sure, go nuts. Yeah, it was, it was pretty cool, you know. Uh, we worked with Garth Richardson, who did like the Rage records, some of the, um, some of the Red Hot Chili Peppers records. And to be able to just be in LA for two months, you know, was like pretty much a dream come true for our band. None of us ever thought we would get there. So we kind of lived up like real musicians. We got to work in some of the best studios as well. And it wouldn't have happened, I think, without Garth, you know. So. It's just definitely a, a great progression to go from the first two CDs to go into that. Yeah, I think they, they originally wanted us to record in like Wales or um, somewhere like that, or Ireland, and then we were just like that. Like, <laughs> sorry, we're recording in LA, and we fought for it and we got it. Okay, that's awesome. Um, now, I know in the video clip for Loverboy, which is one of the singles off the album, uh, you guys get into a bit of trouble with the US law enforcement. Did any of that really happen uh, while you yeah, were Yeah, we're badass, yeah. <laughs> um, well, when we got the name of the CD, we were like, we should just start making up rumours about what we've done. So when we're in LA, oh, Dan got arrested last night and we've got to get him on bail and stuff like this. So go with the mugshots, kind of build it in. But we never did it in the end. So we were like, well, let's make the video kind of tie into the artwork and stuff. Um, yeah, you guys released a behind the scenes DVD as well, which was a pretty honest and, and quite powerful sort of thing to do. What did you want to achieve by releasing all of that uh, footage of you guys working? Um, I think we just wanted to put something out that honestly showed what being in a band is like and to kind of get our fans more in contact with who we are as people to show that we're not kind of... You, some, some people look at bands, they're like, oh, they're rock stars, blah, blah, blah. But we just wanted to people to see us for who we actually are and just actually talk about our whole career. But a lot of band DVDs you see are kind of just like, yeah, we're on the road, let's party, let's do all this, do all that. But we wanted a really, really honest like uh, portrayal of it. So. So uh, what are you guys up to this year? You're at Soundwave, you've been at Soundwave, sorry, for the past week touring around Australia. What's on for the rest of the year? Well, we, after this we go back home and we do a UK tour for three weeks. We've been away since pretty much September since we were last in Australia. So we go home, we do a UK tour and we have a month off, which is going to be really nice. And then we've got the UK festivals and European festivals. Go back to America for Warp Tour and then hopefully go to places like South America and Europe again. So. We want to do South America really badly. Yeah, that's pretty packed. Yeah, um, it's gonna be, gonna be it's gonna be, it's gonna be a busy year. Okay, is there something about South America that you really want to go to? Or is it just because you haven't been there before? This, yeah. It's just like one of the places we've never been to as a band. We went to Indonesia before this, and we've never been there before. So that was like another one ticked off the list, you know. So if we can get to South America and see places like Brazil and Argentina and like Chile, that'll be amazing. Okay, so speaking of tours, you guys, I mean, it was a bit disappointing about the Blink. Tour, but you know, Tom DeLonge here now playing with Angels and Airways. If you guys managed to have a chat with him to maybe make some future plans, uh, we've actually toured with them before, like a few years ago. We did um, one of our 
first kind of big UK tours with, with uh, Angels and Airwaves. So we haven't met them before, but I haven't actually seen any of them around yet. I don't know what they're doing, but... Like, I think they're, they're the kind of bad, like, keeping themselves to themselves, which is cool. Oh, OK, fair enough. All right, well, thanks so much for coming in and having a, a chat with us today, guys. No, no problem. Uh, we've been live at Soundwave. I'm Mike. Check it out. You're watching 1700.